so you've all been asking for like an everyday kind of makeup routine. Um, so this is what, whoop, I always do the wrong eye, but this is what I've been doing. And it is driven towards making your eyes look bigger, which you guys know that's like my thing. Um, and it's using like neutral shades, which is something that I've never really done before. I've always gone towards cool shades just because I'm kind of like a cool skin tone, like cool and warm. But um, anyway, so if you want to figure out how that I how to do this look, then keep watching. Okay, so what I'm going to start with is this little guy from e.l.f. And this is the all over color stick. My camera is not really picking that up. But this color is in Spotlight, and I use this instead of a primer for my eyes because using a primer every day is not very good for the skin on your eyes because that's so delicate. So this I find works really well, and it doesn't crease or anything. So I just get some of that on my finger, and then I tap that all over my eye. All over the lid, anyway. You'll have to excuse like the fan blowing. It's really hot today. I should explain why I'm in long sleeves. Okay, so next, I'm going to take my Beauty Control Palette. Yeah, you guys know I use this a ton. I take this color in the middle. I'm going to take my 252 brush. This is by Sigma. And I'm just going to pick some of that up and pack it on my lid. And kind of go into the crease a little bit, too. And then I would also hit my brow bone. Alrighty. So next, I would take my 219 brush and my Coastal Sense palette, which has a bunch of gunk on it. And I'm going to use this fourth brown down. And I pretty much use all matte shades. Now, I don't really like crazy glitzy things. I just feel like that's kind of... It would look dated, so I don't know. I prefer matte. But anyway, I'm just going to put this in my crease. And it does not have to be neat because we're going to blend this out. Okay. And then I'm going to take my 217, this little guy, and pick up that first brown right there. And then blend that with like windshield wiper motions. You can go in like little circles too to really get it well blended. Okay. So next comes eyeliner, which I jump around from eyeliners a lot. My favorite eyeliner of all time is this one by Ruby Kiss. And I've never even heard of this brand before. The thing rubbed off. But um, I got this from my beauty supply. And I don't know. It's really nice. It's got a really nice consistency. And it's a really nice matte black. And it doesn't get that crunchy texture. I guess, you know, if you squint your eyes and you have, um, like, liquid eyeliner on, it kind of crinkles and can look wrinkly. I don't know, that does not do that at all. And then I also picked up, that is not my eyeliner, that's my mascara, but um, my L'Oreal Linear Intense, and I don't have that with me, but that's something that a lot of people seem to like. I did not like that because it's a brush and not a felt tip, and the way that the brush is, it's really thin and flimsy, and so I find it's just really hard to control. And I also found that the formula, like, was, it did that crunchy thing. So, I don't really like that that much. But lately I've been using this Maybelline Eye Studio. This is in Blackest Black. The first time I picked this up, I accidentally got um, charcoal. Yeah, charcoal. And I was so disappointed because it's this really glittery black. And I was like, ew. I don't like glitter. I like matte. So, this one in Blackest Black is much blacker. However, with the way that I do my eyeliner, you can see it's kind of thick. And so that can rub off on my crease, you know, when I open my eyes all the way like that. And so this does take a little bit more work, but it 
gives a really nice finish. So I use the brush that it came with. I feel like this is a pretty nice brush and it's easy to control. And so I'm going to pick up a little bit of that color and you just want to put it really close to your lash line line like the outer quarter and then do a pretty dramatic upward wing and then I'm doing this in my webcam without a mirror so you'll have to excuse me okay you just fill that in Okay, so that's not like perfectly symmetrical to my other eye. It's definitely more dramatic. So, you know, you can go back and even them out. I don't know. It's not too bad. For doing it backwards, I think it's pretty good. So, anyway, I'm going to take that same brush, and I'm going to go back to my Coastal Sense palette, and I'm going to pick up the black shade right there, and... Just going to apply that on top of that black so it sets it. Okay. And last, where did I put my mascara? Oh, there it is. It was hiding. Okay, so L'Oreal Voluminous, the curved brush. I'm going to apply that last. And so what I do with this is I do kind of like a couple of light swipes, like so, just to get the lashes coated. And then I start to wiggle it. And I find it's really helpful to close my eyes when I wiggle it. So I'm going to go and I'm going to even up my eyeliner because I do have a mirror next to me. But, um, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, so that's a little bit more even now. And, well, that about does it, really. The only other thing that I would do, a white liner, and this is by NYX, and just line my waterline right here. And that kind of helps to open up the eyes a little bit. There we go. So that is how I've been doing my makeup every day for the last couple of weeks. Um, and just how to make my eyes look a little bit bigger and brighter. As you can see, they do look a little bit bigger than, you know, before. I didn't, I wasn't able to give you that comparison like I did in my last video. But um, I hope this helps you guys. And keep requesting videos and such and yeah that's about it thanks guys see you later